Plastic tools get a bad rap because their metal counterparts are a lot stronger, but that weakness can be an advantage in certain situations. Take this windshield cleaning tool for example. This is used to scrape bird droppings and other stubborn things off of windshields. If you were to use a metal razor blade instead, you'd be putting scratches in your window. You may remember from geology class, when you take two rocks of different materials and scratch them together, the harder rock will scrape away the material of the softer rock. The same goes for parts of your car. Here's two almost identical brushes. You wouldn't want to use them for the same jobs though. This brass one would be good for cleaning hard metals like steel, whereas this nylon one is good for cleaning car seats. Here are two trim removal tools. One's made out of metal with a plastic handle, and one is entirely plastic. There are many jobs where these will work equally well, but if you're working on a high-end car and you don't want to gouge any plastic, this plastic tool is better because you won't be able to dig in too hard with it. While on the other hand, with this metal one, if you happen to lean into it too hard trying to work out a stubborn fastener, you may end up bending plastic, scratching paint, or who knows what else. If you are working on a rare or high-end car, and you have to go through three or four of these to get a, an expensive part off, it's still going to save you money. This is the first video we filmed in this new basement studio. Right now it's pretty minimalist. We don't even have enough lighting to fill in these shadows behind me. As the channel grows, I'll be able to convert this into a real studio. I always like to keep the video quality a little bit higher than what's expected for the subscriber count. So hopefully we can outpace that, and hopefully that will be a challenge. See you soon, and thanks for watching. Plastic tools get a bad rap because they're metal... Me metal.